it's crystals, baby! Welcome back, everybody, to an all-new Fast Food Pit Stops. I'm your host, Justin. I'm here in Gaffney, South Carolina, to check out Crystal's uh, all-new chocolate banana pudding milkshake and also their shrimp po' boy sandwich. So we're going to dig in, or we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> We're gonna dive into that right now. If you don't know about Crystals, Crystals uh, was founded, I think, in 1932 in Chattanooga, Tennessee. They are a uh, burger place that specializes in sliders and mini burgers. If you're familiar with White Castle, you already know what that's about. But they've been doing it good here in the South for all those decades now. And I'm here to check out, like I said, their shrimp po' boy sandwich and also their chocolate banana pudding milkshake. I'll put that in the picture right here. Um, so I heard about this. It's a brand new offering. They offer it in the regular banana and also with the chocolate. So I thought I would do chocolate and bananas. That sounds pretty good together. Now, I don't know what a Crystal's review would be if you don't come here and also try out some of their sliders. So I'm gonna be uploading a second video uh, probably tomorrow on just the regular uh, crystals. Actually, I got them with cheese. If you have been in the mood for crystals or like White Castle or just like those mini burgers or sliders, uh, it's a great opportunity to check that out. So be sure to watch that video. That's upcoming. But today we're going to go ahead and try out their new milkshake and also the shrimp po' boys. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the milkshake comes in one size. It was $3.29 and it's a chocolate banana pudding milkshake. They give you kind of a, a nice... Uh, plastic cup, which I guess you can reuse if you're into reusing cups. Uh, it's not really filled all the way up, and I honestly haven't taken a sip of this, but it's definitely more than ample. Uh, it'd be nice if they filled it up to the top, maybe put whipped cream. They didn't ask me at the window. I want to go ahead and try this out, though. Let's go ahead and get it started. Let's take off this lid just for visual aesthetics. Not really sure maybe what they use this lid for, for other things. Kind of like a whipped cream lid, right? It doesn't show that it's got whipped cream on it in the ad. It kind of looks like, frankly, like a chocolate frosty. It's definitely got the consistency, like the soft serve kind of ice cream a little bit, if you can see. And it is warm too, so I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. This is about 30, 35 minutes from my house, so it's just over the border. I, I live in, in kind of a cool area like that where I have a lot of metro areas around me, both North and South Carolina, so I can bounce around. We've got all sorts of different chains here in South Carolina that we don't have in North Carolina, so I'll be able to visit those for you. Popeyes is coming up, you guys. Looks pretty good, right? Now, the smell of it, you definitely get like a chocolate frosty kind of smell, but there is a huddle or a subtle hint of uh, banana. It actually looks like there's little bits and chunks of maybe some banana in here, which would be surprising, I guess. I was thinking maybe it was just banana flavor, but it definitely there's like some chunks. I hope that's banana, certainly. We hope that's not chunks of anything else in the milkshake. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Yep. Okay, good. So I'm pleasantly surprised um, that those chunks are actually little pieces of banana. Mm. Oh, mm. oh, okay. Now hang on. The little chunks are actually, I'm going to correct myself, they're actually like little Nilla wafer cookies. So traditional banana pudding, of course, has vanilla wafers or Nilla wafers. Those little chunks in there are uh, little crispy little nuggets and crumbles of vanilla wafers, not of the banana. I saw kind of the white color and I was thinking it was the banana. I don't think there's probably any fresh banana in this. It's probably just banana flavor. I could be wrong. Mmm. Wow. I, I've never tried their banana pudding milkshake. By the way, these are brand new milkshakes. I mean, they haven't had these out forever. I think these milkshakes just came out. Mmm. Now I'm starting to get a sense of definitely some, some banana being in here. I went from correcting myself that maybe there wasn't any banana to now recorrecting myself that I think there is banana in here. And it's not necessarily that I can visually decipher it between the vanilla wafers and also the banana, but I do think that there's little chunks or pieces of banana because I just, I've gotten a few in my mouth. Mm-hmm. I don't really know how it's the sort of demonstrate a milkshake except just to sort of describe the flavor. And I would say that the chocolate is a very rich chocolate. Uh, 
perhaps even in it actually is a little bit richer than like a chocolate frosty from Wendy's almost has like a Hershey syrup kind of flavor in fact I wouldn't put it beyond them that you know I'm making it seem like this you know uh, extravagant milkshake that they maybe just don't take their banana milkshake their banana pudding milkshake I should say and just maybe add some Hershey's chocolate syrup or some generic chocolate syrup it almost has like that chocolate syrup kind of rich syrup flavor to it wow it's really good I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this uh, new shrimp po' boy teaser alert cheese crystals on tomorrow's review <laughs> now the shrimp po' boy it looks like it comes in one of their chili dog boxes um, I believe it's gonna be on a hot dog bun and that's pretty much all I know about it so I'm gonna just kind of describe it from the looks here oh wow nice so crystals does a line of their little uh, chili dogs and they call them pups so you can see like it says chili cheese pup so they're like the little mini hot dogs and it looks like somebody in the kitchen went a little bit crazy with the ramelad sauce because it's kind of all down in the container but i love it you know what else i love i love pickles kendomic i love pickles and i wish you'd send me all your canadian pickles now they really stacked boy they put some extra ones on here too one two three four five maybe five or six slices of these little uh kosher dill uh pickle chips so these are going to be pretty good and it's topped with uh there's fried shrimp all in here it's nice and hot and the bun feels pretty soft so that's pretty much what you got you got a little uh mini hot dog bun with uh you know i don't know probably six or seven pieces of uh, golden fried shrimp few pickles slices and some ramelad sauce and my mouth is just watering right now because I can smell it now the ramelad if you're not familiar with that is a uh, like a mayonnaise base uh, kind of a spicy sauce they add a little bit of cayenne pepper to it some mayonnaise and uh, some other seasonings and spices let's go ahead and take a look at this I'm gonna pull it out so you guys can get a look at it from home see they went a little bit crazy oh, shrimp fall damn it did that with the bacon too <laughs> <laughs> the dog loves my channel because he ends up getting all the stuff that falls on the floor you guys that's okay they ended up putting uh, quite a few shrimp in here and this is part of crystals uh, mix and match they have a five for five thing so basically this comes out to a dollar and that's how I did this I did one of these and then I did the four cheese crystals that we're gonna do on tomorrow's or if you think this is a pretty good value for a buck a, a shrimp po boy you can't do that anywhere else let's go ahead and take a look here and I'm gonna get into this you guys look at that right looks good smells great it smells good mm. Mm. yep now this size is good for probably about two of my size bites or maybe three of a normal person size bites <laughs> I do tend to take big bites that's because I really want to be able to get all the flavors in right away um, you definitely get the flavor of the shrimp Kind of that fried shrimp flavor thing going on the ramelot sauce is nice it's exactly what i expected being sort of a mayonnaise creamy kind of base and it has a almost like a a cocktail sauce kind of flavor to it versus like a chili pepper or a spicy you know sriracha flavor that's typical you'll see ramelot especially with a lot of seafood and ramelot is traditional on a on a cajun po' boy anyway you can just smell the shrimp not in a repulsive like a shrimpy smell kind of way but just you know i'm sure these weren't just caught fresh of the sea here in south carolina but uh they're still they're still pretty good mm. oh yeah let me show you one of these shrimp here and pull it out definitely whole shrimps they're small but they're good they're breaded really well too of course we got our pickle I love pickles oh wow yep now we're gonna go ahead and get into this last bite here kind of see so for a buck it's pretty good I think I would order this again I liked it a lot actually you see it's totally done oh let's wash down some of that po' boy with this uh, banana pudding milkshake mm. this is surprisingly good I wasn't sure if I should just have gone for the regular banana pudding milkshake or the chocolate, and I'm kind of glad I went for the chocolate. Mmm, mm hmm. Man, chocolate, bananas, and you got those little cookie crumbles in there. Wow. Wow. 
It's really, really good. I like this a lot. <laughs> mm. This milkshake is fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and rate this. On a scale of 1 to 10 for the chocolate banana pudding milkshake at Crystal's, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give it like an 8.5. I think it was really good. Uh, it definitely reminds me like I said, of that Wendy's Frosty flavor. So just to give you something to compare it to, because a lot of us have already had a Wendy's Frosty, but it's richer. It's almost like you took a Wendy's Chocolate Frosty and added a little more chocolate syrup to it, and you kind of get that chocolate flavor. There's a subtle hint of the banana that kind of comes through. It's not overpowering at all. And then you get the nice little uh, cookie crumbles, the vanilla wafer crumbles in there. Mmm. Really good. On the shrimp po' boy from Crystals, I think for a dollar for a shrimp po' boy, this was a pretty good deal. Between the amount of shrimp that were on there, it was hot, the bun was soft, it had lots of pickles, which I love, and the ramelade sauce was actually pretty decent. The shrimp po' boy kind of hit the spot. If you uh, have a Crystals near you, check it out, look at it on the five for five menu. You can get five of these bad boys for five dollars. On the shrimp po' boy from Crystals, I'm gonna give this I'm gonna give it a, a seven. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I'm not really gonna knock it for anything else other than it was just a fast food po' boy. Of course, I've had you know authentic po' boys, which typically come on like a hoagie roll and sometimes can have uh, lettuce, tomato, uh, some different toppings and things. This was just a simple one on a mini hot dog roll with a couple of fried shrimp and some sauce on it and some pickles. Value is probably like a nine because what can you get for a dollar these days? So nice job, Crystals. I like the uh, I, I like the po' boy. I like the direction you went with that. Check out Crystals for the new chocolate banana pudding milkshake and the shrimp po' boy. If you love Crystals, if you don't love Crystals, still check it out. And uh, I hope that you stay tuned for my next review here at Crystals where I'm gonna check out their uh, cheeseburger sliders uh, or the original cheeseburger Crystals. So stay tuned. Thanks again for watching another Fast Food Pit Stops. I'm your host, Justin, coming at you live from Gaffney, South Carolina, and stay tuned for more Fast Food Reviews. Bye, everybody.